Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a another uh, update on my Visconti Homo Sapiens collection. Now, there's a few things I'll show you here. So I have 10 pens here and I also have three more. So I think we'll go through these pens first and then we'll do the remaining three. So 13 pens all in all. So the first pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens. Now people ask me why I like Visconti and why I like the Homo Sapiens. Well, Visconti have really captured for me the design of a pen in so many ways. Now they have so many different models. Now two of the flagship models are the Visconti Opera Master and also the Visconti Homo Sapiens. And for me, what started my Visconti collection was this one, and it's the London Fog. Now, for me, I like that the Homo Sapiens has this silver uh, double band here. It has this quarter of a turn hook safe lock mechanism. It has a power vac filling pen or mechanism. It has a double reservoir so you can shut off the ink when flying and it holds a massive two and a half millilitres of ink. But not only that, it actually feels really nice in the size of my hand. And the majority of the Visconti Homo sapiens come with a 23 cap palladium nib. And these are becoming more scarce now because Visconti had switched from 18, 14 and 18 cap gold nibs to 23 cap palladium uh, and have now switched back to 18 cat gold nibs. Uh, all of those nibs though are made by Bok, uh, but this is just a really beautiful pen. So this is what started really me off going down this Homo Sapiens uh, sort of model of pen from Visconti. And then the next pen was the Florentine Hills. And you can see here, because this is uninked, that you can see the pattern a lot more. This the only downside with these ribbon versions of the Homo sapiens pens is once they are filled, like the London Fog, it's a lot harder to see the beauty on those ribbons. Now, this is the Florentine Hills. And again, it's a 23 cap palladium nib. Now, the London Fog was a fine nib. This is a medium nib. And the majority of mine actually are medium nibs. I say that because this is certainly one of the exceptions. This uh, has a uh, 1.3 millimeter sub nib, and this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Swirl. Now, one of the downsides of these, because they are a power vac, that literally you unscrew the power vac knob here, and you pull the knob back, and then you can see there's a little bit of inky residue here of water, and then you push it down, and then whatever little microscopic amounts of water is in there gets splattered around the barrel. So it is very, very difficult to actually clean out these pens 100% unless you unscrew the nibs and then let them air dry, sometimes pull the power vac knob all the way out, uh, Q-tip all the way in, uh, and just try and get rid of the ink. So it is very difficult to clean these out completely. I know that that is one complaint a lot of people have about Homo sapiens, especially the demonstrator versions. As you can see there, this is the 23 cap palladium stub nib. Now this has a sort of ivory colored feed and unfortunately anything that is that color in nature is going to stain with ink because ink is a dye. So I have normally been inking this up with Robert Oster um, Cafe Crema and Obviously, that's sort of stained the colour of that feed slightly. It doesn't bother me. I'm a user of pens, uh, not primarily a collector of pens. Yes, it would be nice if the pens stayed pristine, but then I wouldn't be able to write with them. So I'd rather be able to write with them than have them in pristine condition. The next pen here I have is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Chiantashir. And you'll notice here that it's got this lovely red and gold sort of wine splashing effect. A little bit of water residue again in here because I do write with my pens. Uh, again, this is the double reservoir 
Uh, it's got the power vac, it's got the hook safe lock, and this is a 23 cap palladium medium nib on here. So I do love this pen a lot, and I do write with that one a lot. I do write with a lot of my Visconti pens. Now there is this pen as well, which is the Visconti Hammer Sapiens Pen Venture, and this is a pen that is uh, was loaned to me by Emmy uh, from pen-venture.com, and uh, I did a review of this, and I have this uh, also still inked up just to do this review. Um, I'm not doing any writing samples on any of these pens because I've done all these writing samples before. I just wanted to show you these pens more than anything. But this has uh, not a 23 cap palladium nib, but it has an 18 cap gold new style Visconti medium nib on here. Uh, but again, it has a mix of the lava and uh, resin here. So it's quite a unique pen. And that was to commemorate Emmy's one year anniversary of his online store opening in Romania. So that pen is actually on loan from Emmy and will be returned to him very soon. And then we have a similar red but more of a, a darker red and this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi. And uh, Caput Mundi I believe the last time I looked it translates, uh, I think it's Latin and it translates to Rome is the capital of the world or capital of the world um, but it's a lovely dark red material resin um, it comes with a 23 carat palladium nib gold colored two-tone uh, medium nib uh, but again hook safe lock double reservoir power vac filler it's just a pen I absolutely love this came in a limited edition of 50 uh, there were I think 20 or 20 or 15 maybe even in the the silver trim and the dark ruthenium trim they were USA editions and they were uh, called the red wine and not Caput Mundi and then we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade which is another pen that I do write with a lot comes with a jade uh, gemstone there and it's just a really great writing pen and again a 23 cap palladium medium nib there but it's just very well balanced in my hand can you post these caps yes you can uh, I don't uh, I just don't feel the need to be able to post these at all and then like Emmy's version of the pen here we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age now this is made completely out of lava it's actually lava mixed with a resin so it is a very robust pen it has the power vac it's not a double reservoir unfortunately on these it does come with a 23 cap palladium nib and this is a fine nib uh, writes very very well but it doesn't it's not a double reservoir so you actually lose about a milliliter of ink so these Homo sapiens that have the double reservoir hold maximum of two and a half milliliters of ink. This holds maximum of one and a half milliliters. And when I say maximum, you're probably going to get somewhere between two and two and a half on one of these uh, double reservoirs and probably between one and one and a half on this one, on the Bronze Age. And then I have the Dark Age version of this as well. So this is a ruthenium trim. I like this a lot. I like that it's it's really a black stealth pen. It's the same mix of lava resin compound that makes this a very hard pen. Then it has a ruthenium plated nib there. It's a medium 23 cap palladium nib. But again, these just feel really well. But again, it only holds around about a milliliter to a milliliter and a half of ink. Um, but I do love them. I I find that they write very, very well. And then the tenth pen here I have is the Visconti Homo Sapiens. This is the Corsani 90. This was a limited edition from Stefano at Stilograph Corsani uh, to commemorate the 90th edition of his store opening, uh, 90th year of his store opening. Um, this was made out of 90 pens, 79 were fountain pens, uh, and then the remaining were rollables. Uh, again, this is a Homo sapiens, but it's of the uh, Wall Street stacked celluloid there. You just see how that shines. 
This comes with a 23 cap palladium nib. It came originally with a medium nib. I swapped it out for 1.3 millimeter stub and I just love writing with that pen. Uh, it's just a beautiful pen. Uh, now, this celluloid can stain a little bit. This does have an ink window in here, although it's difficult uh, to see sometimes depending on the ink that you have inside that pen. So, if I just move that around, you can see the stack celluloid shine a little bit more. Now, the remaining three pens are um, Homo Sapiens. Now, I'm going to do this one first. Now, the first thing you're going to say is this isn't a Homo Sapiens because it doesn't have the cap bands here. Now, this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani Octagonal, and this was another exclusive from Stefano at Stilograph Corsani with Visconti. Now, I would tend to agree with you here. I don't see this as a Homo Sapiens. It also has this octagonal faceted shape as well. So to me, it doesn't really seem like a Homo Sapiens, but it is. Um, so it's basically the same as this model here, the Corsani 90, uh, but it's done in the same celluloid material. This comes with a 23 cap palladium uh, broad nib on this one. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, is it a Homo Sapiens? Yes, it is supposed to be. Um, it doesn't say Homo Sapiens on the band here, but it does say Corsani the octagonal and then the limited edition number. So this is a pen that I also have in the Homo Sapiens range. I also have this one, and this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. This is the Marzi edition. So if you don't know, Claudio Marzi is a very famous Zippo lighter uh, artist. He does a lot of airbrush painting on Zippo lighters. He does it on other things as well, um, but he's also done some on, on Visconti pens. So he did this lovely airbrush painting of uh, Mount Etna, which is effectively where this uh, lava has come from, the basaltic lava that makes up the uh, cap and the body and that on this pen and the section and the Paravac knob. Uh, and he painted this on here, then it's lacquered to protect the painting. Uh, I love it. I really do love it. It's a great pen. Uh, I have this with a uh, 23 cap palladium, uh, and this is a stub, 1.3 millimeter stub nib. Uh, it's got the hook safe lock. It's not a double reservoir, but it is a power vac filler. Uh, it's a Homo sapiens, and uh, you can see that there on the on the uh, band there. Uh, for me, it's just a beautiful pen. Uh, holds around a milliliter to a milliliter and a half of ink. And then another one which eh, sometimes can be a little bit controversial is this one. Uh, it's a Visconti Homo Sapiens and it's the Elegance. And I, I don't know, I have mixed views on this. I wasn't going to buy this originally. Uh, I then decided to buy it because it was I got a very good deal on it. Um, it was when I started to go back a little bit more to converter pens. Uh, it is a Homo Sapiens. It's Definitely no mistaking a Homo Sapiens. It's got a medium 23 cap palladium nib on there. The difference is, is it's a cartridge converter. So this is why a lot of people, um, a little bit of controversy, a lot of people that say, well, this isn't a Homo Sapiens because it's not a power vac filler. Um, I, to be honest, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind that it's not a power vac filler. Um, I like cartridge converters. I find it's an easier pen to clean. Uh, obviously, a converter is only going to hold around 0 0.6, 0 0.7 milliliters of ink. So it's going to hold less than maybe the lava editions of uh, these uh, pens that don't have the double reservoir. But it's a pen that I still like, and it is a Homo Sapiens. So that really is another Visconti Homo Sapiens that I have here today. Um, Obviously, this pen is Insta Emmy's Pen Venture pen. This is going back to him, but all of the other pens are pens within my collection. So that's it, really, for this uh, pen comparison review of 2020 for the Visconti Homo Sapien range. I may be adding more 
to this range i do like these pens a lot i haven't picked up the purple edition of the ribbon demonstrator which is the midnight in florence typically because i haven't found a pen which has a ribbon in there that isn't going to hide the ink a lot or or hide the, the ribbon a lot from when the ink is in the barrel uh, so if i find one maybe i'll pick one of those up um, but to be honest i have enough homo sapiens here already so without the pen venture pen i have 12 homo sapiens so i really do have enough that i can ink up um but of course we all want more so maybe i will get some more uh in the near future in 2020 who knows i guess we'll wait to see what visconti bring out in terms of new homo sapien models if they do and if there's any that i like so that's the pen comparison of the Visconti Homo Sapiens here for 2020. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.